you. It, it kind of looked like I was <laughs> filming on a Samsung. back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well if you are new hello i'm amanda kate and <laughs> we need to talk okay girl because i have some things to say <laughs> so i have been using my iphone 14 pro max for about a month now and i wanted to make this little update video because a lot of people have been commenting on my previous videos of unboxing and showing you guys what's on my iPhone. I will link those for you. They have been asking me how I like it and all of these things. And I loved it, okay? I, I still do. I still love my phone very, very much. Um, but <laughs> you can tell that Apple is kind of still working on it. And this is just my personal experience. Apple take it with a grain of salt but um, I have looked things up to match my experience and I have found other people who kind of have similar experiences so I kind of wanted to share those with you guys today just as I don't know inf information or education purposes I don't know why but um, I kind of want to tell you guys so if that you're in the market to buy an iPhone 14 or if you're looking at it or thinking of it um, just to I guess inform you guys of my personal experience because there are some shall we call them glitches <laughs> issues maybe um there's some things going on okay so let's let's talk about them today now i'm not coming to you guys from an it perspective i am not an it person i don't make videos on like it or anything like that you can watch those videos and i find those very interesting i don't understand most of them, what they say because it's kind of like gibberish to me but um i do like to know like the technical aspects and stuff like that now i'm just coming from like a consumer point of view of using the iphone having it for a month and there's some things happening so i wrote them down um as i'm looking at my laptop right now and i'm gonna kind of share them with you guys because i just think it's important to be aware of these things i don't know um and also if i can physically show you guys i will like put a screen recording of the problem um sometimes it's just like kind of explaining the phone so that it's not going to make any sense and i'm going to use this phone i'm filming on my 14 pro max that's why i'm going to use this 11 to show you guys but you guys are still going to understand what i'm talking about so okay <laughs> and these are in no particular order so let's just get into it so let's say i get a notification now what what is cool i will preface what is really cool about the 14 pro max and ios 16 is that you can mark messages as unread like text messages which is something i've wanted to do forever but you, we weren't able to before so you can mark them as um unread and you can also go in the actual message if the other person is also using ios 16 you can edit your message and then you can also delete so if you send something you're like oh like wrong person or whatever you can go in and delete the message but it won't show up on the other person's phone unless they also have iphone or uh, ios 16 which is fine but sometimes when i get a notification so let's say I don't know, my friend texts me and i open it up and then i go back into where all the messages are it still says unread i don't know why so it's like a glitch so i will open the message and it is open i read it i saw the conversation and then i go out of it and it's still unread so that's just like a little thing that's been happening um i'm sure that is gonna like the glitch will fix itself or whatever like they're gonna work on that but the notification still stays there and it also stays there sometimes in the notification center so when you like pull down the screen and you have all your messages and stuff, it still shows that I have a message from this person, but like, no, I don't. I opened it up. I read it. <laughs> Why is it still there? Next thing is that <laughs> it doesn't always recognize my face and it's not that like I have makeup or have no makeup or my glasses or whatever. My So I went from a 11 Pro Max to a 14 Pro Max. So from what I hear, I've never had the 12 or the 13, but from what I hear, it's not that big of a difference the phone wise um and the 11 pro max would recognize my face whether i had sunglasses on makeup no makeup 
um, hair up, whatever, it still knew that it was me. The 14 Pro Max doesn't always know that it's me, okay? Sometimes it's like, who are you? <laughs> um, and this happens, I'm gonna say, and I'm not, like, no clickbait, 40% of the time, it doesn't recognize me. And I don't change my face this much, like, I always have the same look going on, like, it's, it's me, you know? But it doesn't always recognize me. And it also doesn't do it from, like, if the phone is lying down and I kind of do this, it doesn't unlock. I have to open, like, bring it up and then look at it. And then sometimes it still doesn't recognize me. So see, this 11 is doing it right away. It's recognizing me, no problem. The 14 Pro Max don't do that. So I don't know what's going on, but please. What are you talking about? You don't recognize me. The thing is that... Now, this did not happen to me, and then one of my friends reached out and said, hey, how do you like it? How do you like the phone? Does this happen to you? It's been happening to me, and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then it started happening. So it's that the camera shakes and glitches in different apps. This especially happens in Snapchat and Instagram. So if I'm posting something, so if I'm like filming myself, it's all going well. Um, you guys can see, actually, I have a TikTok example of this. I filmed a TikTok and it happened. So I will put that for you guys. But I'm filming and it kind of just like, it glitches. It looks like I like restarted filming. So it looks like I like filmed and then stopped and then restarted a second after. But it's not. It's a continuous film. But what video, like the video that's showing kind of has a glitch. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like that's not supposed to happen and especially in snapchat um this doesn't happen as much it happened only a few times but when i would go to zoom in on snapchat let's say it would kind of glitch like it's like it it would like take a second to get there so the zoom was very like glitchy it it kind of looked like i was filming on a samsung okay if i'm being honest speaking of zoom the other thing that's been happening is that the zoom video like if i'm just filming from my phone not on an app no snapchat no instagram just from the phone the zoom is blurry there's like one time zoom two times whatever and then there's like an extreme amount of zoom so you can go like zoom into like i don't know someone's eyeball from like across the room or something like it's very very like <laughs> i'm not explaining this well we can zoom very far but it gets blurry so as you're filming like it doesn't um, focus, if that makes sense. So I can see their, whatever I'm zooming into, but it's all blurry, like it's all pixelated. So what's the point in zooming if I can't see it? <laughs> the next one is that the pictures, girl, the pictures. I specifically got this phone too, because I had an 11 Pro Max. If I had the 12 or 13, I don't personally think I would have um, upgraded because they're very similar. But coming from the 11 Pro Max, I heard that the camera was going to be so much better. And it's like, you know, that is the phone. They're cinemato cinematographic, something like that. I can't say it in English, but um, there's that point of view. Um, and then there's also the like motion stabilization. So you don't need like a gimbal or anything like that. You can film. So you press this little, it's like a little running man emoji and you press it and then it'll stabilize so let's say i'm filming someone like running it's going to stabilize and focus on that or like a car or whatever it is so it's not like everywhere like it's very like motion stabilizing um and <laughs> the pictures are not as good so i got this phone because i filmed my videos on my phone um and so far like it looks great everything is good except for pictures Pictures specifically turn out grainy, and I'm gonna post like example of uh, examples of this. It looks like I put a filter, like a grainy filter, on my picture, but I didn't. It's just the lighting, and I took the same. I'll show you guys like with flash and no flash, and it's the exact same thing. But it's almost as if like when it registers the picture, it transforms it into like HDR, or it does something to it to make it like super high resolution but it's not high resolution it's just it looks like the contrast is just really off or the saturation or something it's not a nice like clear picture it looks very grainy 
um and all my friends said this like i've had my friends like take my pictures and i've taken their pictures and they're like what's wrong with your like why is it all grainy that's always the words that they say like grainy specifically so i'll show you guys that but what's going on that last one which is kind of just like maybe it's just me and that's fine <laughs> but there is so on the 14 i'm using the pro max as an example but i'm pretty sure it does it on the 14 as well there's the thing called the dynamic island which comes up from the top right so let's say you're listening to music you have the dynamic island on top um and you can just like click it from there and you can change the song or if you have a timer on you can do that or if you have um whatever like something else open like a phone call or a facetime it's gonna be up at the top which is great it's cute like i can see what's going on and like do other things while i'm listening to music or while i'm on the phone i can still play on my phone but <laughs> it's at the same place as the camera so when i touch like this part where the camera is so this is where the dynamic island would be when i touch it i'm touching the camera so i get my camera all dirty <laughs> all the time and i always have to wipe it clean and of course i do because before you take a picture you film you should wipe your camera clean obviously because it's it's dirty but to always have that like it's at the same place i have to be very careful to touch it on the side anyways that could just be a personal preference maybe it's because i have like six inch claws but it's just kind of annoying but i have actually heard this from like tech videos as well on like the iphone reviews um from like grown men who don't have six inch nails so i like i think it's a thing <laughs> but anyways that is my little rant i guess if you will on the iphone 14 pro max and my one month update of using it i still love it i'm still gonna keep using it love the color i got a lot of questions on my um what's on my iphone if i like the gold and if i still do a few weeks later or if i wish i would have gotten the purple i don't wish i would have gotten the purple i knew right off the bat the kind of purple it was like the dark deep purple um i was gonna get like bored of that or annoyed of it very very quickly i could just tell just my color preferences um it's gonna get old quick in my opinion so i i'm very happy i didn't get the purple i stuck to the gold which kind of looks white almost so it's very like neutral i personally like that i always like to have a clear case on my phone so i like to see the color of it and i just think it looks a lot better in my opinion for my aesthetic um especially when i'm taking like mirror selfies and the gold white silver looking <laughs> color always matches what i'm wearing no matter what i'm wearing it matches obviously because it's very neutral um if i had the purple as example it wouldn't always match so personally for my aesthetic i'm very happy i got the gold and i love it and i don't wish i would have gotten the purple although the purple is beautiful it just doesn't match my vibe so that's a little update on the color for you guys um all in all it's a great phone i love it i don't wish i had my 11 pro max anymore i just thought i would update you guys one month after on these little glitches and apple if you're listening i don't know maybe you can work on those <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video let me know if you enjoyed it by liking commenting and subscribing to my channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so you never miss a video and if you guys want to follow me on my socials they're all linked down below as well as so many discount codes i have for you guys in my description if you guys want to save money or make money while shopping online definitely check those out and until next time just know that i love you you are valued and be kind to yourselves bye guys